Hey guys, Dan Krause here again, working on the Mercedes M103 Turbo, um, working on the wiring harness, specifically uh, finishing up building the ignition wiring. So uh, I'm gonna show you how to do that with wasted spark and how you um, pair the cylinders together um, for this specific engine. So hope you enjoy it. So I already had the stock harness for the LS coils here. So I'm going to reuse uh, all of these and just take two off of this limb, if that makes sense, and add it to this. Uh, it should be really simple, really just a matter of uh, removing some of these wires. So I need to keep the, the pink, which is power. Uh, the black is ground and then the brown is ground to ECU so that's why all those are linked together like that and so each one of these plugs has you know a black wire a brown wire and a pink wire okay so that means that the red blue green and purple wire are the signal wires okay because they're smart coils so this sends the signal to fire the coil. Um, so I'm just gonna disconnect this here and then I have to take this all apart. So I wasn't gonna show you that, but I guess I will. So as you can see on this loom, I just have these four connectors. I need to add two more, obviously. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. So now that I have the power and the grounds all paired together, I can go ahead and pair the signal wires together. So I'm gonna take the red wire and the purple wire, and that will, those will be signaled together. Well, there's multiple purple wires, but I know which ones are gonna go where, so. And then this will, this red wire will be for cylinders one and six to fire um, and then I will just keep going down through and so then I'll have two and five paired and three and four paired together so that's how it's going to work
So what I'm doing here is actually just making the brackets for the LS coils to go on top of the valve cover. I took the regular uh, truck bracket and then I just cut it up and spliced it together to make the one I wanted. I had to do this before I finished the wires um, so that I knew exactly how they were going to sit. All right, well, there's the wiring harness for the engine, uh, almost completed. I just have to get some plugs for the injectors and wire that up and yeah, a few other little plugs here and there, but for the most part, that's how it's gonna look. Well, that's gonna do it for today's video, guys. Thanks for watching and please subscribe.